Here is a wise virgin from among the number of the prudent who went forth with lighted lamp to meet Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together, I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Today, we celebrate the memorial of Saint Scholastica. Let us pray. As we celebrate anew the memorial of the Virgin Saint Scholastica, we pray, O Lord, that following her example, we may serve you with pure love and happily receive what comes from loving you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. When Solomon was old, his wives had turned his heart to strange gods, and his heart was not entirely with the Lord his God, as the heart of his father David had been. By adoring Astarte, the goddess of the Sidonians, and Milcom, the idol of the Ammonites, Solomon did evil in the sight of the Lord. He did not follow him unreservedly as his father David had done. Solomon then built a high place to Chemosh, the idol of Moab, and to Molech, the idol of the Ammonites. On the hill opposite Jerusalem, he did the same for all his foreign wives who burned incense and sacrificed to their gods. The Lord, therefore, became angry with Solomon because his heart was turned away from the Lord, the God of Israel, who had appeared to him twice. For though the Lord had forbidden him this very act of following strange gods, Solomon had not obeyed him. So the Lord said to Solomon, Since this is what you want, and you have not kept my covenant and my statutes which I enjoined on you, I will deprive you of the kingdom you give to your servant. I will not do this during your lifetime, however, for the sake of your father David. It is your son whom I will deprive. Nor will I take away the whole kingdom. I will leave your son one tribe for the sake of my servant David and of, his, and of Jerusalem, which I have chosen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Blessed are they who observe what is right, who do always what is just. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Visit us with your saving help. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. But they mingled with the nations and learned their works. They served their idols, which became a snare for them. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They sacrificed their sons and their daughters to demons, and the Lord grew angry with his people and abhorred his inheritance. 
Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Alleluia, alleluia. Humbly welcome the word that has been planted in you and is able to save your souls. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went to the district of Tyre. He entered a house and wanted no one to know about it. But he could not escape notice. Soon, a woman whose daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him. She came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by birth, and she begged him to drive the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, Let the children be fed first, for it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She replied and said to him, Lord, even the dogs under the table eat the children's scraps. Then he said to her, For saying this, you may go. The demon has gone out of your daughter. When the woman went home, she found the child lying in bed, and the demon gone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, today's Gospel narrates to us that familiar story of Jesus healing the daughter of the Syrophoenician woman. It is not only familiar, a familiar story, but also a strange story. It is strange in many ways. First, why? Because we are told that the Syrophoenician woman approached Jesus and asked him to heal her daughter. That is strange and unusual because... A woman never and was forbidden to talk to men in public. Worst, a Syrophoenician never speaks to a Jew or vice versa. Why? They consider themselves enemies. Best enemies. Kung may best friends, sila best enemies. So they should and must not talk to each other. And after all, the Jews considered themselves not only best enemies, but mortal enemies. Second, Syrophoenicians are Greek. This woman was not a Jew and therefore considered a pagan, an outsider or an outcast. The woman's fate was in her gods and goddesses, yung mga anito. O kung meron mang babae, Anita. Amunagid, no? Ang ilang uh, ginampatian. And not in the God of Israel. Yet the Gospel today tells us that Jesus cured the daughter of this Greek, of this pagan woman. In today's Gospel, we see how Jesus is attentive to a foreign woman belonging to another race or another religion even though this was actually forbidden by the religious law at that time. At first, Jesus seemed to pay no attention to her. Jesus does this to test the woman to awaken faith in her. While approaching Jesus, this woman was actually insulted already. Manugkad to pa lang siya, mapalapit pa lang siya kay Jesus. May ara nagid mga tao sa iya mga palibot, May mga marites, may mga marigold, may mga kung sino-sino nga maribarida nga gastart gid nga ginaridicule siya. And she became an object of ridicule and received the silent treatment. And the person I am referring to was not even given a proper name by the storyteller, if you notice. She was just simply called the Syro- Phoenician woman who approached the Lord to heal her daughter. Meaning, wala gidman pulos ini nga babae. 
kay hindi gidman gin tagaan sang ngalan or identity. Brothers and sisters, the action of the Syrophoenician woman and the action of Jesus in today's gospel are both strange. Both their actions are extraordinary actions. The action of the Syrophoenician woman was unusual. She fell at the feet of an enemy and begged him to heal her child. She knew that she could be insulted. She knew that she was making herself even more vulnerable. She knew that there was a real possibility that her actions could bring more hurt and pain to her. But just the same, she approached Jesus and fell at his feet and begged him to cure her daughter. Bahala na lang kung mapahiya ako. Bahala na lang kung pag-usapan ako ng mga marites. Bahala na lang kung i-chismis nila ako. Bahala na lang kung i-misjudge nila ako. The truth is that the woman had a persevering faith or unwavering faith. She may not be a Jew. She may not be a believer in the God of Israel. But in her heart, she knew that this Jesus was a man of God who could help her with her hopeless situation. If we come to think of it, Jesus heeded the plea of the woman because she was so persevering. In Tagalog, she was so makulit. But other term, other Tagalog term would use machaga. Machaga at pasensyosa ang nanay na ito. Hindi agad siya sumusuko. She was rebuffed and was initially rejected. But it did not shatter her. Instead of giving up, she became more persevering. Brothers and sisters, in reality, perseverance in prayer is hard. Interceding for other, others can be very difficult and even draining. Our hearts and minds tend to become cold and indifferent over time if we don't see results from our praying. Hindi ba la? Sometimes, amuman, natapos ko na nobina ko, Lord. Nahatag ko ng mga itlog sa mga mongha. Di, wala man gyapon. Even when our, when we are persistent, the devil also tries to draw us away from praying and interceding for others. Even if we have great faith, we know that sometimes we may not see immediate answers to our prayers. And we see that people we pray for, the people that we pray for, have no change or no conviction or no transformation at all. Sometimes they even get worse. And if we are not careful, our great faith becomes little faith. However, one of the ways that we know that we have a great faith is that if we are persistent. Great faith does not give up easily. Great faith keeps on going when others would have already quit. Just imagine Saint Monica. She prayed for her son for 30 years and more. And every day makita niya, do hindi man gabag nga bata ko. Do amo man gihapon as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. But the Lord has also granted Monica's prayer. Her son was actually converted and became a saint in the end. Brothers and sisters, there is a spiritual tenacity. We are determined to see God move in this person's life. That is why we keep on begging 
we keep on pleading and we keep on asking God. And this is where the teaching of St. Teresa of Jesus would also remind us, determinada determinacion, determined determination. She writes in her way of perfection, do not give up prayer. Come what may, happen what may, even if you may die on the road, do not give up prayer. Brothers and sisters, today's gospel invites us to develop in us the virtue of perseverance. Like the woman in today's gospel, sana maging matyaga din po tayo. Kahit parang walang nangyayari, kahit parang hindi tayo dinidinig ng Diyos, huwag po tayong susuko dahil alam natin na may awa ang Diyos. Jesus was moved with pity. Not because the woman was faithful to her religion. He healed the woman's daughter because Jesus saw the helplessness of a mother. In the end, the mother's powerlessness became the venue, became the opportunity for God to reveal His power and His mercy in her life and in her daughter's life. As we continue with our celebration, let us pray for the gift of perseverance. Let us pray that like the woman in today's gospel, we may also experience God's intervention in our lives, especially in those areas where we feel most weak and helpless. Amen. intercessions because of her humility and love for her daughter Jesus answered the petition of a pagan woman let us pray that our love may be encompassing not exclusive or selective in every petition we shall say father help us to show your mercy to all father help us to show your mercy to all May the Church make herself a servant of Jesus' love and mercy and transmit mercy to all people, irrespective of race, religion, and cultural beliefs, we pray. Father, Father help, help us to show mercy, mercy to all. May government leaders and agencies attend to people in time of need, irrespective of their political affiliation, we pray. Father, Father help, help us, us to show mercy, mercy to all. May we have recourse to God, with humility and trust, knowing that all that we have and all that we are come from Him, we pray. Father, help us to show mercy to all. May we not boast of our accomplishments, but rather say, we are useless servants. We have done nothing more than our duty, we pray. Father, help us to show mercy to all. May mothers who grieve because of their children who are ill or have gone astray experience the same help that Jesus bestowed upon the Syrophoenician woman, we pray. Father, Father help, help us to show mercy to all. Let us also pray for the intentions of those who join in our Holy Mass online. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father, help, help us, us to, show to show mercy to all. Lord God, your mercy is for all, even for those who do not acknowledge you as God. May all recognize the signs of your fatherly love, and so in gladness confess you as one true God and Father of the human race. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our bread of life. 
Blessed be God forever. May the mystery of this water and wine may we come to share. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice which we offer you. Be humble and contact us. Lord, let's be Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we proclaim the wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin, Saint Scholastica, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, 
and Patricio, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Scholastica and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Behold, the bridegroom is coming out to meet the Christ, the body of Christ. Amen.
let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of Saint Scholastica, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray together the Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against COVID-19 and that disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise your petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Sebastian, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calumso, pray for us. For us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has been offered. Go and glorify the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. <laughs>